There you go. Come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dolls and welcome to Jen TV. All right, there you go. Ooh, this one. Are you afraid of love? Are you afraid to be loved? Afraid of falling in love? What's going on there, Virgo? Afraid of getting hurt? I hear you. Bear in mind, my love, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. I only book private readings via my website. You have to come to my website to book me. There's no other way of doing it. So if I'm, like, sending you emails or I'm down there in the comments below saying, hey, this is me, totally honest, believe me. Like, hey, do you wanna read it? That's not me. Don't fall for it. It's not me. You have to come to my website, gentvtarot.com, but there's a link below to book me. All right, now. There we go, you afraid of love? That's what I need to know right now. Yeah, you're afraid of being vulnerable. Like you need to know you don't want to put yourself out there without that sort of knowing where it's gonna go which doesn't really work my love nobody really knows what's gonna happen do they so this is this sort of energy year of well if I don't know then I'll be fine. I'll just, I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know where the relationship is going to go. So that doesn't work for me. Uh, so I, if I just don't go for it, and I don't put myself out there, and, and then, then that's fine. Then I don't have to be afraid of not knowing what's happening and everything's fine. Everything's good, right? Right? Sorry, my hair's bothering me today. This is just a very bad hair day. I'll just deal with it. I'll stop messing around. All right, I'm to go. You're not putting yourself out there because you're afraid of what might happen if you do. You don't know what will happen if you do. And not knowing is giving you anxiety, so it's just like, well, it's just better to not, so. You could, you know, just get to know somebody though, right? Does it have to be all serious straight away? You could just like make a mate, be mates get to know each other and, and, and see how that goes and, you know, be vulnerable in that sense first. Friends can hurt you too, I know. I've been there. I see where you're going with this. It's, it's, it's like, you can kind of get betrayed from all angles and, and why make yourself vulnerable? Just don't let people in, they can't hurt you. It makes a lot of sense. But also, as creatures, as human beings, we're not sort of supposed to be alone. We're a sociable type. Things like holding hands and, and laying down, having a hug, you know, those are things that feel good. 
and you get those good hormones going around your body which I don't know it's good for you right I, I, I can see your energy just if, if I don't put myself out there nobody can hurt me but then you're lonely if you just sort of you know let yourself get to know somebody tell me more you can put the past behind you maybe just maybe you know if you uh don't follow the same patterns of your life you might not get hurt start going for a different type penniless musicians are out musicians are out that's for me i'm telling me myself that the wounded poet out so that's my type that i've been going for need to get a new type us together let's do this let's let's stop going for the same idiots that are obviously going to break our hearts because we didn't learn from last time how about that so yeah. Something that's been coming up a lot for me lately, and this could be, it's coming to my mind for a reason, so let me know in the comments below. Guys that tend to want to talk to me, so if you're a guy or a girl, it's girls that tend to talk to they tend to be in a relationship and they're in a relationship and they're bored. And they're kind of thinking, that's a hot person. Maybe we can talk. I don't know. See where it goes. Open my options up. Yeah, I'm in a relationship, but you know, we could see. Yeah. So, I don't know. For the last two years, literally every guy who's tried to talk to me has been seeing someone else. Married dating someone else, you know, living with someone else. And it's just like, as soon as I find out, I'm like, why are you wasting my time? What does it, we're talking for a week. Now it comes out, what are you wasting my time for? You know, why is that not on your Instagram? <laughs> why have I had to, why did I find out like this? You know. And it's boring for me. It's just like, why is this? I guess it's my age group. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. Not about me, but about you. Like, how is it working out for you? Is it is it people who are already in a situation? That's going to, you know, make you afraid of love. Because, you know, people, they just cheat. Because, you know, what's going to happen is if they're doing that to the person they're with, eventually they're going to get bored of you too. And they're going to do it again. So why would you ever get into that situation? Which I wouldn't. But it's just like, what? Have I been calling in that energy somehow? Have you? I don't know. It felt like it popped into my head for a reason. So that's it's for one of you out there. Literally, as soon as I found out, well. Like, oh, why we have that entire interesting conversation that's now like now I feel bad I'm like do you sort of ask straight away are you single are you allowed to talk to me well not not technically no I suppose you could ask straight away all right well, well I'll start doing that anyway anything else Virgo needs to know right now okay well that's that's changed a few things this whole conversation we just had you know, being honest straight away. 
So, so what do you need to be honest about straight away? Do you need to know what page you're on straight away? Or is it things like this? Are you this type of person? Have you ever cheated on somebody else? Are you... Oh. What your trauma is? Do you want to ask them straight away? Interesting. Honesty looks like it's, it's good. Even saying I'm afraid to get into a relationship because I've been hurt in the past. So, you know, I don't want to make myself vulnerable, but, you know, you're nice and I like you and I enjoy talking to you. So take it easy on me. It sounds desperate, I know, but I don't know. Is this, is this something wrong, being honest? I'm going to start taking it there myself. I'm going to do it. The next person talks to me. Are you seeing anyone? Are you single? Oh, I sh should have. I so should have done that. Like, with my twin flame. That actually like, gave me agony. That I should have been the first thing I said to him. Should have been the first thing I said to him. Just to have had an honest answer. How much pain would that have saved? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Let's move on. So, you know what? It all seems to be fitting in. So following your instincts. I can't pick the card up. I cut my nails yesterday. So. <laughs> it's the high priestess in reverse. So following your instincts, your, your gut instincts are telling you, you know, maybe what I've just said, be honest, say what you gotta say. So that's what you're going to do, all right? How does that work out for you? Yeah, okay. In some ways it's good, but in some ways it 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 kind of Yeah, in some ways it's good. It shows you where somebody's unhealed to be honest straight away. This is this is ah this is where I've been hurt. This is ouch area. <laughs> like, don't don't make me vulnerable here. Don't do this to me. But that sort of brings out their wounds as well. Oh yeah, this is where I've been hurt too. Ow. And it's like a common trauma that you have. Now, I don't, I don't want to say trauma bond because that's something different. But it's like, in a way, you guys bonding over your individual traumas. Like, this happened to me, oh, this happened to me too. And then, you know. I don't know. It, it's, it seems interesting that, that, and we've got the two of pentacles here, sort of like making that work somehow. Like, mm, I don't know. Ah, honesty. How refreshing and terrifying at the same time. It does kind of seem like for a little while here, this might work out for you. Uh, commitment, ooh. I see it as being them who's confused though. They, they don't know what they want. So who is this person? Hold on, hold up. Probably a Taurus, maybe. Uh, who are they? Uh, maybe an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, You kind of, I see you coming in having a common bond over a common trauma. And you feel like, I don't know, it's nice to hug somebody who gets me. It's, 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 we can talk through it, but I don't know. I 
sort of see it ending up being more of a friendship in their eyes and you're more leaning on the romance side. Tell me more. This is what you need to heal within you. Okay, it makes a lot of sense. So yeah, this is a great thing. You can go this route perfect but if you don't do the healing that you need to do you're gonna get into a relationship with someone where you're needy and codependent you need them to feel happy you need them to fill the void so it's sort of it's not helping you're not moving forwards. You're getting into a new relationship, but they're seeing it in a different way to the to how you're seeing it. And, and they start to get uncomfortable with the situation and feel like they don't want to commit to somebody who's too needy. Yeah. So what you need to do, if you want it to work out, you want to stop being afraid of love, you need to do the healing. You need to... Find out where it is in your past that that you chase after love, that you can't real deal with rejection and somebody distancing themselves from you while they figure out what they want. There's a channel that I've found very helpful for me. I always uh, go on about her, but she's called Jen Peters. And I've done some of her guided meditations that have like really, really, really helped me that, that feeling of wanting to chase after romance when it starts to move away from you but I, no, 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 I want it it makes me feel better you know I, I've I've found that doing these guided meditations that she has that she does have, have really helped me uh, let go of a lot of that rejection energy um, And I sort of feel like that's where this is going with you. You have this common bond. You bond over it. And then, you know, they start to distance themselves because that's how they deal with relationships. They're not moving on either. That's their trauma they got to deal with. They try and distance themselves from... detach themselves from love when it comes even though they want it because that's how they handle it for you you've got to deal with your trauma bond of, of like but no don't leave come back makes a lot of sense if you can deal with your side of it this could actually work out Let me, um, I'm going to take it into extended, but I'm going to pull you a couple of oracle cards. Jesus. This tends to mean that the cards don't want to be read, but I'm going to anyway. I'm not paying attention. I'm going to anyway. The energy is gaining momentum. And your love lurk. Everything works if you let it, my cheap trick. 
everything works if you let it if you let it in your heart yeah it sure does anyway thanks for joining me don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and if you want to watch extended take a look in the description box below there is a link to my patreon you'll find the video there Bye.